Hello and welcome. It's time for another edition of Poland Daily Travel. My name's Will Richardson, and this time we'll be taking you on a series of episodes exploring the Warsaw Zoo. It's a peaceful reserve located on the eastern bank of the Vistula River in Warsaw. So come along with us and let's visit the Warsaw Zoo. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Zoo Keeper's House in the zoo in beautiful downtown Warsaw on the east side of the river. I'm here with somebody who's very important, who knows the whole story about what took place here. This is Olga Zboniakowska, uh, a native uh, Warsawian, a person of, from Warsaw. And uh, Olga, what, what, this is an important room. What took place here? This is a small room, but this is the office. Jabinski uh, worked here. He think here about all. And today, this Jan is Zabinski Jan Jabinski, the, 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 the zookeeper, yes. The head of the zoo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, today, it's an important place because the old books here in this place was original. Mm -hmm. The old library is the library from Dr. Jabinski. Are, are these prints or some of these other things that belong to him? <laughs> yes, as well? in this room, it's all original. Yeah. So everything in here was yes. his stuff, and it remained here. Yeah. Of course, we said in the last installment that his son recently died, yes. age of 87. Yes, this is Yeah, true. a good long life. Good yes, Richard, yes. Well, he died well. last month. Did you know him well? Yes. Yes. Was he an amazing guy? He was a very, very good man. Uh, I'm so sorry I didn't get to meet him. Yeah, that's a, that's a great loss for all of us. What, are, what did some of these things mean to him? Uh, I mean, we see here, what, he's a zookeeper, and yet he has a rug like this. So the ideas of conservation a little bit different back then, or? Uh, this tiger lived here in, the, in Warsaw Zoo, but later, because it was in the 70s. Okay. Not in the time when Jabinski lived here. Ah, so this is a later thing. And so the idea, uh, because some people might wonder, oh, why do you have a rug uh, made from a tiger? But I guess the tiger died, right? The tiger died, age, died. Right? Yes, animals died in the zoo sometimes. They, they don't always live forever. Of course. And so this was a way of preserving uh, them. It was yeah? sometimes very important uh, to education. Education, because you can see the tiger here in this, in this place. Sometimes uh, children yeah. come, can see this animal. Mm. It's a beautiful animal, isn't it? Yeah. We'll see some real tigers later, yeah, because mm -hmm. they have a number here in the zoo. What do you have? Three or four tigers here? Today one only. There's only one? Yes. Last time there were two. What happened? Animals died. It died. When it was, yeah. was old. And uh, who are some of these? Uh, we have some interesting photographs here. The all photographs here was the family photos. Jan Jabinski, his wife, and uh, his children. Okay, these are all the family here. Yeah, and some of these things are bills and... The old documents the, uh, from, the, from the family. These are documents. Documents from yeah. that time. From, from from the war time. From during the war. Yes. So these are papers they had to have if the if the German police would stop them. Of course. And they would say, "Who are you? Where are your papers?" Yes. Yeah. Uh, it was important that all must have this this document. Yeah. And then not annotation that he worked here. He has uh, have a job in in Warsaw in Poland and because uh, somebody have not a job. Yeah. It was the first person to go to the concentration camp. Yeah, if you didn't have a, if you didn't have a reason for being here, then boy, we'll ship you off. Uh, we'll find something for you to do mm -hmm. in a not very and the worst environment possible. Well, this is fascinating. And these were his, some of his favorite books, right? Are there any books particularly that you know that he liked more than others? The old books are in German uh, because yeah. uh, it was uh, typical la language in this time, uh -huh. and all it was about animals. Uh -huh. They're all books about animals. So yeah. he was really dedicated you know, to, to everything about animals. It's, uh, was he, was he a, a, a scientist of some kind? Yes, he was a zoologist. He was a zoologist. Yes. Okay, that's important because mm -hmm. this is a, a professional guy yes. in zoology. Yeah. Okay, and what is this animal up here? This is a red panda. That's a panda? Yes, but I red panda. A not, red panda. Not the original uh, black and white. And then but, what's the difference with a red panda and the, and the black and white panda? Uh, very small and... Uh, it's much smaller. Yeah. Yes. It looks more like a fox or something, I think. Yes. Did you exactly. think the same? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But this is the panda. And they're native to, uh, also to China? Mm-hmm. Only China? Yes. 
Only in China. Okay, the red panda. Okay, and what's the next room? We're going to go through. The here. next room is here. This is yeah. the dining room. Oh, this is the dining room. Okay, stick with us. We're going to go and look at the dining room. Is it like it used to be, kind of? Or? You can see it's a very yeah. important thing on the wall. Okay, we're going to see a very <laughs> important thing on the wall. Stick with us. I like, I like, you're nice, Olga. Okay, <laughs> Olga's going to show us some more. Here we go. Hello, everybody. I'm back, as promised, in the next room, in the zookeeper's house, the Zhabinsky house here at the Warsaw Zoo, with Olga. Zbonikowska. Zbonikowska. Well, I got it right before, but this time I didn't. But she's going to help me out. Olga, you said this was important on this wall. What's, what's this all about? Uh, the few boxes, this is a very small part of the biggest collection with insects on the world. Because the old collection is 865 boxes like this. Collected by a Jewish entomologist, Professor Simon Tenenbaum. Simon? Tenenbaum. Tenenbaum. Okay. He was an entomologist, very famous on the world um, before the war, uh -huh. and he died in the ghetto in uh -huh. 1941. Before he died, he gave his old collection, the 800 boxes, to Rabinsky, his friend, and Rabinsky saved the collection in his basement. The old collection survived the war, and after the war, in the 50s, was donated to the Polish Academy of Science. Today, the rest you can see in the Zoologist Museum in Warsaw. Wow. So how did they get them out of the ghetto? Do you know the story? It was before he was in the ghetto. Ah. Uh, the, the ghetto he knew he in, was going. The ghetto in Warsaw was closed in November 1940. Here's a realization. I mean, it's important to say this because there's a realization my freedom is going to be over. But I'm a dedicated scientist, and my collection needs to be handed yes, down. Yes, for him it was a passion. And yeah. he said the, it was the most important thing to save the collection for the next generation even more important than his own life. Yes. That, that's the point. And I think that, that that needs to be brought out, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Simon? Tenenbaum. Tenenbaum. OK. That's a name to remember. Uh, what else do we have in here? I, I, well, I notice here there's an aquarium. And uh, you said there was an aquarium. The aquarium was in the same place when Jabinski lived here. He was a di the dining room. Yeah. The table, the chairs, of course. Yeah, a and simple the, dining room. Yes, yeah. and, the, and the aquarium was here, too. It's not a grand house, but it's a comfortable house. It's a, yeah, a house you could enjoy with a wonderful surrounding. I mean, it's, a, as we were saying before previously, a little boy's dream. So his son grew up in a, you know, it was like every little boy would like to grow up like that, I think, yeah. yeah. And up here we have a... Uh... It's a turtle, very, very big. Yeah. The, the animals in the house uh, was the collection by Jan Żabinski. Uh -huh. And uh, do we know where it's from? This, uh... Galapagos. That's a Galapagos uh, tortoise shell. Very worth knowing. An actual, that's thrilling, a Galapagos tortoise shell. Have, uh, would you like to go to the Galapagos? Of course. Yeah, <laughs> it's too. a dream. <laughs> okay. Uh, something else, uh, particularly? This is the, um, the room to memory from by the uh, person by Professor Tenenbaum mm -hmm. and his collection. So it's, a, it's the in memory of Professor Tenenbaum, the entomologist who yes. died in, 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 in the ghetto. And, and, and this cabinet over here, now these are uh, on the side of that and tell, tell me about what's in here. A collection by animals and uh, not only Polish animals, you can see monkeys and uh, birds. For Żabinski, it was very interested to education have animals in his, in his house too. Our North American friends will not know what this is. This is a red squirrel, which is very uh, native to here. We could even see some in the zoo, right? Uh, I mean, running around. They, they live here. Yes. At outside, no, not outside, in cages. Outside, yeah. outside. Because this is a natural, it's a beautiful little animal, isn't it? Yes. And they're very friendly. You can feed them with some peanuts or of something. Course. Yeah. They'll come right up to you. Uh, what's this little thing here? This? Yeah. This is a Polish uh, animal, Washita. I don't know I what is the is name it a vole in English. In English? A vole, maybe? <clears throat> Looks like. I don't think so. I, I, no. I, I don't remember. <laughs> Wrong again. Wrong again. Okay, I, I, I'm no zoologist. It's obvious. Folks, stick with us. I'm here with Olga Zaboniakowska, and we, in the next uh, exciting installment of our visit to the zoo, um, I love this, by the way. It's just, it's so nice that you let us come in and, and will talk to us. 
uh, about this place. Uh, we're going to go down to the basement, which is where they were hiding uh, the people uh, during the Second World War from the German occupation. So stick with us for the next exciting installment from the zoo in Warsaw. <laughs>